All right, what's up, Dragon Brood? It's about that time. We're going to play Rats. You knew it was going to happen at some point this season, but I have a card that I think might actually break this deck type wide open. If you want to buy any cards for today's deck or any other game stuff, remember to go to CoolStuffInc.com. You can use code DRAGON. That'll save you 5% at checkout. And Cool Stuff Inc. always has cool stuff in stock. All right, so before we get into this card that busted this deck wide open let's talk about the other things we're going to play first and then we'll spend some time talking about that but starting at the top we are going to play some gnawing vermin i'm skeptical on if the milling part actually matters but the minus one is actually pretty good here harried spear guard this is one that's not really a rat but it leaves you a rat which is nice because you don't have many things that can block so occasionally you can block with this and then have a rat to attack with which is super nice we are going to try torch the tower a couple of copies because we're gonna have a bunch of rats to get rid of and this is another way we can scry and get to our key cards we're also going to be playing tangled colony which isn't a huge surprise because it's a rat you can't block with it but it is pretty nice to be able to just run into combat and see which get left over Caramonix, we don't have a ton of rats, so I'm only going to play a couple of copies of these, but even then, just having your other stuff have Toxic is actually super nice and can give you another way to try to end the game. Lord Skitter's Butcher, we're going to play a couple of these as well, and mostly we're going to be getting another rat, but in a pinch, if you already have a bunch of rats, making all your stuff have Menace is actually pretty nice. Rarely are we probably going to play it to draw a card, unless it's just later in the game when we have a bunch of mana and we're trying to break a stalemate, I'd imagine. Lord Skitter, this obviously is good. Just make a rat every turn, remove stuff from your opponent's graveyard. Not a lot to say otherwise. And we're going to try out Twisted Sewer Witch. This is a fun one because it also makes a rat, but then puts a roll counter of Wicked on each of them. And that means they're going to be two twos, and when they die, they get to deal extra damage. So another way we can win. And we're also going to try out a couple copies of the Red Cap Gutter Dweller. This produces more rats and then could let you sacrifice a rat to put a counter on something and then also look at the top card and play it. So that's kind of nice too. Don't know how important this is going to be, but it could help in a pinch. Of course, we're going to be playing Song of Totentans. No surprise here. This is going to be one of our best cards in the deck just to try to finish things off. Or as I like to call it, Furball, because it's like a fireball where you're making rats. But this card I was talking about is Warhose Frenzy. This is a card that's kind of forgotten that came from Dominaria, but it's an instant speed spell, so you don't even have to waste it early. Gives all of your creatures plus two, plus zero, which is huge when you have even three or four rats sneaking through. But it has a kicker of only one black, and then if any of your creatures die during the turn, then you get to draw a card. This is great because if you have anything you sacrifice, you'll get to draw a card. Anything that dies in combat, you draw a card. So even if your opponent's just chump blocking, say three or four rats and only another three or four are getting through, Go ahead and use this, try to take out those blockers, and then you also get to draw cards, and you're all set up for the next turn. So, lots of stuff this card should be able to do for us. If it works the way we want, this is going to be a game winner. But, if you want the full deck list, it'll be at the end of the video, or you can go down to the description below, look for the blue arrows, and you can download it there. It'll take you to our Moxfield link where you can see this deck, and 20 plus other decks that already have Eldraine cards in them. But y'all, let's strap in and see if the rat deck is actually viable. Oh boy. These are the ones I want to keep because I have land, but if we're not doing anything till turn three, that's just not possible. This is no better, but we're kind of stuck keeping it now, sadly. This is just a case where we've been better off with the first hand. All right, a late turn one rat, but you know, it'll do. All right, well, hopefully they needed lands, because we just flipped two of them in the graveyard. What's funny is I just was trying to read this uh, plaque over here, but I think it's just Lorem Ipsum generic stuff. <laughs> Thought it might actually had something relevant on it. Uh, all right, we're going to go with this and at least get one more rat. I mean, they probably have a kill card for it. But our hand's not stellar here, so, you know, what are we going to do? Purifier. Okay, that's a thing. That's something I thought we would see. Hmm. Well, let me think about this. Purifier doesn't fly or anything. I guess we just gotta get rid of that. They do have to pay for that, though. 
All right, let's just go wide and make a bunch of rats here. Do do do. You know what, Dax? Let's see if we can just draw our thing that gives all of our stuff plus two plus zero and end it here. That would be the goal. Because we can get rid of one blocker and then just go ham if we get it. Alright, let's see what's up. Yeah, not even really worried about that, honestly. Okay, not what I was expecting, but it'll do. The rat lady made a bunch of big rats. And uh, yeah, we're going to attack. I mean, they gained some life. All right, and then that dies when we ping them for one more. Cool, cool. I mean, even if they sweep the board here, unless they exile stuff, they're still going to take two, four, six. So that ain't the worst thing, you know? Adeline, kind of cool. Is it enough, though, is the question. Rat colony. All right, so if we play the rat colony and get rid of it. Actually, yeah, to get rid of probably the purifier so they can't gain life. Then they'll block one, two, three, and then they take two, four, six, eight. Two of these die, so they take nine, ten, and they're left with just Adeline. All right, I'm kind of down with that, I guess. Seems more than reasonable. Sacrifice a Duder, we'll take that out, so no more life gain. Actually, no, I guess they get left with the Automaton as well, because they can pay to put a counter on it right now. Not that that really matters, I guess. All right, here we go. Opponent says GG's. Yep. 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 I agree with all those things. And then those die. All right, cool. Good win. Okay, we will keep this. All right, get in there, little duder. The harried spear guard. I have no idea why this, like, he fights rats and then rats are left over. I'm not really sure the logic there, but it's a thing. Ah, oh, they're playing blue card. Oh, so this must be like an is it spells type deck. Uh, all right. I'll get a point in, why not? Let's see what the opponent's up to here. Alright. That you know, that was not the worst thing that could have happened to us there. Honestly. Let's uh I guess I'm just gonna do this. No idea if putting stuff in their graveyard helps them or not, but probably just going to do this for three next turn and then hope for the best. I think it's kind of the, the plan we're going to have here. Get to kill some things. Sounds good. Sure. Why not? All right, they kept them from attacking, so that didn't suck. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do this for three. I don't know how long we have to wait, but they don't have counters, so that's good to know. Hmm. I'm going to attack with this. Since they weren't willing to attack on their turn, I don't think they have... A... Oh, what I do that for? They have the 1-3. It has Vigilance. I was just looking at the Swift Spear, sadly. All right. If I was going to do that, I should have attacked first. If that was the only thing I was going to attack with. That was terrible. 
My brain was just focusing on the swift spear, sadly. That's cool. You give us a wrap. Flat of hand? Sure. That thing's juiced up. What you got? Another spell? Hit me for a pile? Nope. Just hit me for one? Alright. Don't hate this, I guess. Hopefully they don't have a make disappear. But I guess if so, we'd rather hit this than our other stuff. So yeah, get in there, y'all. You block two of them. I'm just doing that to set up a Warhost friendly next uh, frenzy next turn, which hopefully will be lethal, or at least cost them some creatures and we get some cards. I mean, it looks like the opponent's definitely doing the is it spells thing. Wait, how was that so cheap for the number of cards in a graveyard? Oh, instant cards or sorceries and adventures. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Alright, well, we're just going to attack then. And hope they don't have the straight up counter. Alright, we're going to pay and kick it. And then we get three cards. Another Totentans is awesome. We'll go ahead and play this. So if they have any damage base sweepers, we'll still get some amount of tokens left over. Yep, exactly what we wanted. And the opponent still can't attack here. That's cute. Let's go out and style with this. Here they come. But now, even if they block <clears throat> block one, you're still going to take one for the one they block. Because these are all uh, wicked tokens. Yep. Alright, not sure what their deck was trying to do otherwise, but we'll take the win. Uh, sure. This is a little tough. Because we almost want another one of our one mana things and then draw a land to play the Lord Skitter. Because we don't have many quality twos is the real issue. Alright, well, that's going to put the kibosh on that. But we did draw one of the twos at least. Question is, can we find more mana here? Yay or nay? Nay is the answer. Oh, boy. Uh, sure. We'll attack with this. Why not? In the turn. I mean, we can't block with it. Brutal Cathar is going to do what here? Targeting that guy. Do we want to kill the Cathar? I guess so. Yeah. We can wait, though. Take our damage, because we'll take four here. Uh, we can at least block this. And still get a rat, so that's pretty cool. And then we'll go ahead and kill this. Keep our pressure up. Uh, ooh, this is interesting. So now we get, Well, either way, we get two rats here, so this is fine. We're not, we don't have rat efficiency doing it the other way. Alright. Another Cathar. Makes sense. Get rid of the Lord Skitter. Now we're faced with an issue. We could do this, get three rats. Assume two of the small rats get blocked. They take three, four, five, six... And then we try to fire this off next turn. Or we could do this. It makes two rats when it comes into play. And then we get to put counters on stuff if we want to sacrifice a rat. So I think we just take our time and just do this. Oh, they're going to give us more rats. Love to see it. Okay. But if they have some type of board sweeper, I mean, they're just going to give us a Lord Skitter back. 
And then we just go in with Totentains. Yeah, that ain't gonna cut it. Even with the life gain, I don't think it matters. Uh, we're gonna decline. We want all these to be live bodies. Alright. Boom. Big hitter hitter. And we get a card. And the opponent's dead. Ooh, we go first, huh? Alright, let's go for it. We weren't going to cast these anyway, even if we had the red mana, so why not keep it? Alright, that'll be good on time. Question is, is this just mono blue? It is not. So we're probably going to have to try to win with the Totentan somewhere along the way, right? And yes, I could have played my Lord Skitter first to get an extra rat, but if they have removal or something here... I would like for them to use it. Um, but we could actually kill this now and get two rats. But let's just save this. Alright. It's just a way to work around counters and stuff. It's not ideal, obviously. Because they could have countered and then just taken two. but Or taken three. But I didn't feel like that was necessarily worth it. Soul Cauldron. Hmm. Well, are we willing to set up and let the board get swept? Because I could just go for three and then get in for six here, but I feel like that's a little stronger post sweeper. So let's not. And let's see what they've got first. And then this way, if they just have like a depopulate, we could follow up with a couple of. Oh. Well, you don't even have that. Fair enough. Well, if that's what we're using, then I guess we go ahead and do this. Because why not? This is weird, too. If you're playing a bunch of removal to just exile stuff, then the cauldron has less value. Because they're just less things to get. Right? Hmm. Decline. They'll just all come in individually. Uh, alright. So assume there's a Wandering Emperor. We can probably just torch it. Lose our 3-3. Hmm. Just trying to think about how much damage I can get in. Especially if we assume there's some combination of Wandering Emperor or Sunfall here. But I guess we just attack. I assume they have it. I mean, they almost always have it. Oh, well. Almost always is not always, apparently. Gonna search? Okay, it was a memory deluge. Fair enough. I assume one of those is some type of sweeper here. Not a sunfall. Well, that's intriguing. Now, that card's probably useless. Huh, so it's not a Sunfall. I'm assuming, I mean, I get, what, what's, what are those cards? I guess they're counters? Because we didn't play anything? Man, it's tempting to want to just, like, song for maybe three and leave up a torch? That'd be six, seven, eight, nine, even if they got rid of this, yeah, maybe. I feel like I'm playing too conservatively here, but I feel like this is still correct, so... Yeah. Wow. Really? Okay. Sure. Like, what am I going to do? I can only assume they're counters at this point. Okay, a way to draw cards. That makes sense. This unfortunately can't hit opponents. It only hits permanents. Not even permanents. It's, it's creatures or players. All right, there's the Sunfall that we were concerned about. Can I get a land so we can at least get in for five here? For f Okay, cool. Let's do this for five. And see if this is enough over two turns. Or if we need to draw another. <laughs> Hmm. 
All right, opponents at three. Quick study. They're drawing. I, they probably need to depopulate here. All right, rats did it. Yeah, I feel like this was a case of their hand was probably a bunch of counters. If they weren't sweeping the board, and they obviously had to hunt to find their one sweeper, because if they had another, they would have played it there. My guess is they just had a bunch of counters, and since we played cheap stuff early, and we were able to just sit back on our big cards, once they swept and tapped down, the Totentans was enough to just get it done, fortunately. So, kind of a weird game, but sometimes stuff's like that when you're playing against control. Uh, yeah, why not? And this is nice, too, because even if we have to, like, sacrifice to kill something, we get a little bit out of it, which is pretty sweet. But no such luck. We're just going to attack here. And they leave encounters up for us. All right. Well, we're going to attack anyway. Or not. I mean, you're just taking the one here, right? I was going to say, like, <laughs> that would be weird, weird if they weren't. I could sacrifice and draw, but realistically, I'm just going to make a rat so we have more stuff to fight with. And then their kill spell. Oh, no, it wasn't even a kill spell. It's just a fairy mastermind. Oh, so they might have fairy cards that couldn't do anything because there wasn't a fairy on the board. Now that I'm thinking about it, that makes a lot of sense. Good news is, I mean, we could attack kind of freely here. And not have a real concern, which is nice. Hmm. Alright, I'll attempt to tote and tans for two. Why not? Since we have a backup. Now this probably gets countered, right? If not, we're gonna love this. Yep. Makes sense. And we're attacking. Block a rat. Nope. They were not interested. Fair enough. Alright, they had land. I thought they were hesitating because they might not have it. But they did. Ooh. Alright, so we're not going to tote and tans here again, right? That's just kind of silly. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Let's do this. And then let's... Hmm. I'm willing to risk it here. Target this. And just see what they want to do. Alright. I mean, their plan might just be try to get this other fairy untapped. Who knows? Nope. Just kill one of our duders. Alright, opponent goes to 11 in the turn. Man, a land would have done us so much good. We're kind of in struggle mode now. Okay. I think I gotta do this. And if they have another counter, we just let them counter. It's not a huge deal. Then we'll try to Totentans and then Warhost Frenzy, because we got nothing left after that. Yep, you can untap one, block, we make a rat. It's all good. Okay. May they just have lands in hand. Ooh, no such luck. Oh, we're going to have to discard one of these? Ah. Man, because I kind of want to use a Warhost Frenzy. Even just to get cards, but I don't think we can. All right. Sucks that we even have to show them we have that. That's big. Oh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. And they didn't do anything, so I'm going to assume they got another counter here, but... We took too long to get that fourth land. Oh, they didn't have it. So that's some good news, I guess. 
Just keep on keeping on, I guess, here. Alright, so you're probably going to hear, like, lawn equipment out here behind me, unfortunately. Um, yeah, not a lot we can do. We just took too long to find mana, I think. Um, sure. I'm trying to think if there's even a way we can win here. If we attack, they untap, block, they go to five. I mean, I guess we have to go for it on just an outside shot that it happens. But not much we can do otherwise. All right. Because they can make a 1-1 one -one blocker. They can attack the Amonkhet, turn that into a dude. Probably a uh, Shieldred, realistically. Nope, they made some rats. That's fine, the rats can't block. So that's actually better for us than a shieldred, really. I, know something you don't know. I mean, they've got four cards, though. I mean, even if one's a counter, I mean... Yeah, I mean, we'll do what we can. I don't have high hopes here, though, being real. Whoa, did that work? Alright, I guess we're attacking. I mean, what else is there to do here? Because if they only have the two blockers, I mean, they got to have a removal card here. That's it, right? Here we go. I was going to say, you got to have something. All right. Uh, it doesn't really matter what we target here, right? Sure. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really matter. I mean... They had another kill spot? Oh, gosh. Alright, then our out is probably the witch. Thanks. To at least put uh, wicked tokens on everything. Alright. Can we get a witch? That is not a witch. Alright, still on the same outs. <laughs> like, not changing anything. All right, 14, draw a card. <laughs> There's no secret I can't uncover. I mean, <sighs> sure. <laughs> I was going to do for less than five, but here's the thing. Even if they have like a make disappear, doesn't matter. If they have a spell stutter, doesn't matter. Still gets countered. So sure. All right, is that enough? Oh, whoo, whoo. Well, we're hopping right in on this one. Didn't have the flashiest hand, but it's at least serviceable to get us going. Okay, this isn't bad. We found another play here, so that's good. And here, even if we don't find a black land, we could just 
hit up a Lord Skitter. Ah, it's going to make that less exciting, which is very sad. But that's okay. Uh, let's make a rat. And we will attack with this. Because if they block, we get to kill Thalia. So this is just getting a couple of chip points of damage in here while we can. All right. Copper coat, you got it. Sure, I'm not even blocking. I could have blocked with the guard, but wasn't that concerned about it. Okay, this leaves us an option if we could just make things unblockable effectively for a turn. Or we could Warhost Frenzy, let them block something, we draw a card. Actually, no, we won't because we can't pay the kicker. All right, I think I'm going to do this. And just say things get menace for a turn. Then at least we're pressuring their life total a bit here still. All right, they got an out of line. We do not disagree. Man, come on, on tap land. That's going to be so huge next turn. Yeah, we'll block this knucklehead. All right. Oh, it wasn't an untapped land. And it's the worst because we can't even play this. Oh, no. Ah, dang it. What do we do? I guess we have to just attack. We got to go for it. There's also a random chance opponent won't block or something. I don't know. I doubt it. All right. Is that the only block there? Oh, man. If that was going to be the only block. Oh, boy. It was about to get exciting. They, they're probably thinking about a burn spell here. Because it's probably what I would be doing, honestly. They're not really thinking about this coming through and trying to be lethal. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Woo, 13. We did it. Even with the Thalia out. Oh, so good. So good. Oh, this is funny. All right, we'll keep it. I <laughs> don't, don't know if this is any good. Probably not, but you know what? Let's go. Oh, that's... Drawing a land there is definitely bad. I know that much for sure. Okay, this is likely mono blue, because this is either a fading hope. Oh, no, it's not. Mm, speaking of, though, I haven't really seen mono blue much since we moved into Eldrain, which I'm not sure why. Just very interesting coincidence. Vandal. Sure. We'll take that. I mean, really no loss there, which is kind of nice. Hmm. So this is a fairies variant, maybe? Yep. Definitely so. Weird. I can't say I've seen this with blue-green at all. So this is Kind of new and interesting, to say the least. I like what they're doing, though. There's some cool stuff happening there. Uh, Alright, we're just going to kill this thing. Then we're going to attack. And I may just have to fling this to kill that. Just kind of really put the opponent on notice. All right. I mean, they're still at 15, and our hands basically blanks at this point. So not a lot is happening. Soul Cauldron, you got it? <laughs> like, not sure what that does here, but okay. I mean, I guess you could have Fairy Mastermind's ability. Sure. I don't think I have anything for them to use with it, so it's... Yeah. Oh, wait. That has a triggered... A triggered ability. Okay, sure. You do you.
Leap Cursed Fairy. Got it. Do I waste this trying to even kill that? Probably not. Actually, if I do and I draw something more valuable here, they won't be able to counter it, right? Okay, let's do it. Because if they have a counter, I would rather them use it on this than on another card. Because I'm sure they have the spell stutter here. Oh, Fading Hope. That's cool too, I guess. <laughs> All right. Totentans. Uh, we could Totentans for th two to be on the safe side. We'd get in for one, two, three, four, five. Opponent goes to seven. You know what? I'm gambling. I mean, if they got it, they got it. Okay, they didn't. Mostly because I figured if I did it for two less, I'm not going to necessarily be able to kill them in a turn anyway. Whereas here, they have to have something more than that, and they didn't. There you go. Ooh. Okay. Sure. Let's see how this goes. I have concerns. Please don't kill our colony. Yeah, colony ain't gonna live very long. All right, try to attack. Okay, that we can live with. That's it's not dead. Dead. We can get it back later. Do we get any rats? We get no rats. However, I'm not upset to lose those other than the lands. We at least got a bunch of stuff out of the way, so that's kind of nice. Don't hate it. Uh, sure. Gonna go ahead and attack here. Gonna void ran that guy. Sure. And get a rat. Yeah, this hand wasn't good. We're just trying to make the most of it here. Deluge. Sure. Uh, now we have to play the game of what type of sweeper is our opponent playing? We're definitely going to play this. Just debating if I'm going to play the rat colony out or not. Man, if they like Gix's command here, we're wrecked, right? I mean, I guess they could land into... Eh, that sucked, too. Alright. I'm going to play Scared here. Because if they land into a Sunfall, it's pretty bad, too. Well, uh, they didn't have it. Dang it. Could have got away with another three-power creature there. Yep. I might have missed my opportunity. That's tough. Okay, don't hate that so much. Um, we'll get rid of this because I don't think there's going to be a lot of quality targets. Okay, that didn't go the way we wanted. I guess we just hit this up and attack. Now, there is an interesting thing here, depending on what happens on this turn. If we're left with any creatures, we could shoot this for three by sacrificing the rat token. I guess it wouldn't matter. We just shoot it for two. But we went it up with more bodies, which could help. Mm, okay, okay. You got it. I mean, I don't have the best cards for them to get. Sunset Revelry. Yeah. That does a thing. Alright. Hmm. Oh, no! Oh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Man, even if some combination of these swamps was a black red land, I could at least, like, do this for one and still leave up a torch, but... Doesn't look like that's going to get us there. Alright. Well, 
we'll have to do the thing then here. Question is, yeah, it doesn't matter. All right, dealing two to it. Yes, yeah, like, do you, are you sure you want to hit your own thing? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, because it gets exiled. Oh, I can't even hit my own thing. It didn't matter. We were dead anyway then. Yeah. Deluge, you got it. Yeah, we just didn't draw any lands here. Took away our options to even get a good Totentans in or anything like that. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to give this one to the opponent. I, there's nothing we can do there with no lands. Sure, let's do it. Get in there for that one. Come on. Ah, uh, not what we were looking for. I was hoping maybe another one mana rat guy would have helped. But that's what I have to do. Ah, oh, okay. What are we going to cast here? Sure. Like a cut down? We can live with that. Considering all the things that could have happened there, I think we're okay with the outcome. I'm going to go here first. So even if our stuff dies, hopefully we at least get another rat. Oh no, we lost our frenzy. Oh, that's such a good card to have go to the graveyard. Might be the best card in this deck, seriously. I thought it was going to be the thing that helped push rats over, but it's it's been even better than that. Good news, though, is we didn't really flip any rats, so there's a chance we hit some things with Kuramonix, which is nice. Sure. That's something. All right, so we could shoot that with this. Discard this guy. Hmm. Hmm. I guess we could play this first to see what we find. Wow, Arena. Really? I hate that, like, sometimes you over-prioritize my life total, especially when I'm at 19. I want the option to do multiple things here, friend. Apparently we missed. Ah, and there was a rat. Or a sewer witch. Um. Okay. So then here the option is going to be attack. We're going to attack with all these. We're going to sacrifice. We'll target this. Auto pay. Then we have to discard. Sacking the new rat. I'm going to discard this and hold on to the go for the throat. In the event of a Shieldred showing up. Alright. So we got the poison in. We got to kill off a creature. The opponent gets no value from that because there's nothing in the graveyard. Like, we did about all we could on that turn. To make it where their hand does nothing. Hopeless nightmare. We have to discard. No. Oh, and they had a Path of Peril. All right. We got to back up. Go for a throat. That's good news. Let's exile this mess. Back. So we're verging on lethal, and they're halfway to dead to poison, so we'll see what happens here. Trespasser. All right. Will we get to kill a Trespasser? No, there's no creatures to get. <laughs> nice. So no value from that guy. Love it. Oh, you are so good. Dang it. Well, I'm going to assume that that's just a make disappear if it is something. And we're going to discard this. Okay, it wasn't even that. Fair enough. Get rid of this. Keep the pressure up. All right, opponents at one. We're going to get double kill next turn. Yep. Ooh. 
Love it. Oh, no. The time we actually get the reasonable curve start and we have the wrong lands. All right. Maybe we'll draw an untapped black land here. Or not. All right. Well, that slows us down a bit. That's super unfortunate. All right. I think what we're going to do here is... I'm just going to go with this. I wanted to play the rat or the tangled colony. But I was like, if they had a cut down or something, I would have felt kind of bad not getting as much for the turn. Whereas here, we might still be able to kill something. Wow, really? They're like, you know what? F your rats. Well, I guess knowing what we know, I mean, if that's what we're doing to kill rats, then let's see what happens. Now, milling stuff in the graveyard doesn't harm them as much. I mean, we already put a flesh gorger in there for them. Okay, we'll take that win, though. Yeah, I think there they were just killing off something, hoping to buy some time, and they didn't have the land, and we'd already milled two of the land they were maybe hoping to get, and their herd migration, so they couldn't search for one. So, realistically, they actually weren't that far behind. I mean, being at 22, but at worst, our turn, we were just going to song for Totentans to get another two, so we'd attack for three, four, five, six a turn. <laughs> maybe fire off a Warhorse, uh, Warhorse Frenzy the next time, but yeah, wasn't a great game to end on, but you know what? We'll take it, and that moves us into diamonds. So, yay, rats. All right, so this worked, but I do have a couple of small hangups. Partly that I kind of, like, I don't know. I felt like a couple of our defensive cards, while useful, were not the best thing. And I almost kind of wanted more of the Sewer Witch but not really. Like, there were times a five-mana thing would have been too much. But also a lot of times that, like, well, if we just get a Sewer Witch and we attack with everything, then it doesn't matter, right? So that would have been good. The Red Cap Gutter Dweller, sadly, was not that good. It turns out that most of the time we're not going to sacrifice the token. We're just going to let it be what it is. And if that was the case, then meh. I will say this, though, if I if you do sacrifice, it does give you a way to see extra cards, and that's actually kind of nice, but it's also a card that you don't trigger to hit from Karamonix, which is a thing. So what I would like to do here is possibly, and this is going to sound a little crazy, but what if we just remove Annihilating Glares, we go up one go for the throat, we take out the red caps. We add one Witch, and we add two Nizumi Prowler. And the reason I want to add the Prowler is it can give, it can have Death Touch, give something Death Touch and Lifelink, so those could both be critical at times. Additionally, a token gets through. We could turn a token from a one power to a three power. That's a thing. So there's, there's a lot of little things this could bring to the table for us. So I don't hate this at all. And overall... I think this actually would still be pretty playable. So if you want to run this, I would go with four Gnawing Vermin, three Harried Spear Guard, two Torch the Tower, four Go for the Throat, two Nizumi Prowler, four Tangle Colony, four, two Karamonix, two Lord Butch Skitter's Butcher, three Lord Skitter, four Warhost Frenzy, three Twisted Sewer Witch, four Song of Totem Dance. And lands are pretty simple. We're going seven Swamp, five Mountain, four each of Black Cleef Cliffs, Haunted Ridge, and Sulphurous Springs. Yeah, so I don't have much to say negatively about this deck. I thought it was going to be worse than it was, and it played out really well. Uh, it, it won some matches I didn't think we were going to win. Warhost Frenzy was so good for this deck. Like I love the fact that you can use it even if you it's not going to kill the opponent, but you know they're going to block up a bunch of things. Then you just get to draw three or four cards, and it can put you right back in it, right? Or a late Song of Totentans, you're like, okay, I'll just do this for like four, and then that's enough bodies to punch through. So lots of cool ways to win with this deck. It, it was more than I thought it was going to do for us. But yeah, this, this was actually pretty fun. 
Again, I think all the simple stuff, like you want to save your Song of Totentans if you think it's a control deck. So after they sweep the board, you can get four or five tokens down. But yeah, I think the little changes we made are going to be pretty good. And they give us some more consistent start starts. And I think having that extra witch is going to be better than having the extra red cap. Though it does limit some cards we could get to. But yeah, you got to give and take a little bit. And it's possible that maybe this deck's supposed to be even more aggressive and just say no defense at all and just go all in on the creatures and the stuff that enhance the creatures. I think that's a viable solution too. And now for today's card spotlight, we're going to talk about Rat Colony. Mostly because I wanted to bring up the fact that this is the type of card like this, Relentless Rats, you know, any of those where you can have a larger number of them in your deck than four, all tend to have long-term value. And this applies even to the Nazgul that just came out and Persistent Partitioners. Any of those, like if you come across them, pick them out of collections. They're not bulk, they actually go for real money. For instance, this card is a $5 card roughly, but a lot of the others, I think the cheap ends are gonna be like a buck fifty, two dollars and they're just commons or uncommon. So snag them up whenever you can because there's actually real value there. And if you enjoy theme decks like today where you get to play all the rats, I did play an elf deck earlier this season that actually got a little bit of benefit from cards from Eldraine that you might wanna check out. That's all I have you for now. We'll see you next time.